Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you want to customize the footer of your Google Sites? In this video, we will guide you throughout the steps to edit and personalize the footer to better suit your site's design and functionality. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So guys, first thing first, let's go ahead and open Google Sites. Now to edit a footer, you will have three options, either to start with a blank page and start designing your footer from scratch, either go for an already made template that are basically available on the Google site official websites, or you can keep working on the website that you currently own. Let's start with a blank site. So there we go, I clicked on the blank site, and here we are on this page. Now, if we want to insert, as you can see here, there is nothing that talks about footer or any page section. If you want here, as you might notice, I don't have a footer since it is a black page. So what should we do to actually add a footer inside of our page? Well, first of all, go ahead to the bottom of the page and hover it. You will notice there is a button that says add footer. Click on it. And there we go. So now we have this simple footer. It is now blank, so we need to start editing it. Now, footer usually will have a couple of things. Uh, what I usually add to it, a custom code, because since Google Sites doesn't have much functionalities and much abilities, so we can add a lot of things here. What I usually do is to add a custom code, but that will be our later step. Let's start with the basics and how to write things and add text to this specific footer. So here we can hover and we will be able to write anything that we want. For example, here we can write uh, this page is made by Google Sites. Or we can add a page description to our web page. Here we can click on footer and we can change the color of the section. So you can go here and change the style of the footer. As you can see here, it has been changed. I can click here to edit it and we can uh, like double click. As you can see here, if I click double click, I can either choose to add one of these five options, images, upload things from drive or embedded and text. So now since we have something like that, well, what do we find usually in the footer of any single website? Well, usually you will find a small description about the site itself. So you might find like a small description. You could add here like uh, this thing here. And you might add this uh, two blocks into uh, the sometimes because sometimes you will find in the footer some images and some kind of button, etc. So you can add these content blocks into the footer and you can edit them as you want. In case you would like it to be simple, just a description in the navigation menu. Then you can add it here as well. Now the navigation menu is kind of tricky because we don't have the button to add navigation unless we do it in a different way. So this different way is basically by writing text by text and giving this text a link. So for example here, I'm going to insert a text box. So let's go here and what I'm going to do is call it home. Now this is home page. What I can do is to drag it right here. And as you can see, I have here my home page. Let me just drag it to the right. And here we go. This one will be a little bit smaller. And this one, I will move it a little bit here. So here we have the home page. What I'm going to do is to click on edit text. And I'm going to click right on this button right here. Insert text. And as you might see, after I click on it, I can literally add a link. So this link can be taken us to whatever URL we insert there. For example, if you want if we wanted to take us to the home page, then we simply gonna write here www.something.com or anything like that. And we would be able to actually add it right here. Now let's start by doing so. So I'm gonna duplicate this and move it right here. Duplicate it again, move it right here duplicate it once more and we're gonna move it right over here let's change these for example here home about us here 
privacy policy and this one has to be longer so something like that can be good we're gonna move this one right here and we make this one a little bit longer why can I not do that okay that's perfect and let's try to do this do that oh yeah understand now and since we can't do it we can keep it just like that so here we have home about as privacy policy and for example here affiliate so now this can be acting as uh, basically as like headers of the menu so this is menu one this is menu two menu three menu four we might also add a couple of details so we can make this footer better we might add a text box so we can duplicate this one for example and move it right below affiliate so for example here become a partner and I'm gonna make it longer and as you can see here this affiliate I will try to make it uh, in the middle um, like that and here we can put this also in the middle and as you can see here we have kind of this design let me just remove privacy policy because I didn't like the place we can leave it to the left to like the last thing and as you can see here we have the affiliate program so we can move it all the way here let me just add here make it to the left I guess it's better same thing for affiliate and now as you can see we have the footer we have affiliate which say it is the big menu and here we have the sub menu which is become a partner so here we can literally add links so for example here we're gonna click on this and it's gonna take us to google.com so we can apply it and let's publish the website let's give it whatever name and let's check if it's gonna work so after I clicked on it they're gonna take us to this page view published sites and there we go click on it and here we are we are on google.com right now so just like that we have made our footer interactive somehow now for the second section of this video which is editing the footer of an already page that is made by Google sites so we simply have to go to the footer and basically we are going to edit it the same way we did with the other websites so for example here we have this footer we simply hovered on it and we have the access to it so we can duplicate what we have learned in the first part of this video with this part of this video so we can click here and duplicate what we did add in text changing color and do whatever you want such as adding navigation menu manually not of course automatically and such other things so that was it for today's video guys thanks a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial